Everybody, welcome back to my channel Knowledge Universe. Uh, today, uh, the video is uh, also about uh, the DBMS uh, NoSQL MongoDB. And um, today, I try to explain how you can manage uh, by using a graphical user interface MongoDB. Uh, the video today is about uh, MongoDB uh, Compass. So, uh, MongoDB Compass is a tool that uh, allows you to make smarter decisions about uh, document structure, uh, querying, indexing, document validation, and more. So, um, MongoDB is um, a graphical user interface uh, used to manage uh, MongoDB. So uh, we start this video by um, downloading uh, this uh, tool. So you can use the official website uh, mongodb.com uh, to download the uh, compass. In the first video, you can uh, learn how you can download and install mongodb. So in this second video, uh, you uh, is about how you can manage graphically uh, mongodb. So mongodb compass. Uh, is a graphical user interface you can download it uh, in this uh, website so there are many versions uh, and uh, for example uh, the version 1.28.1 uh, or um, 127.0 and other version so in this tutorial for example i have in my computer uh, uh, windows uh, 64 uh, windows 7 so uh, i choose my operating system here uh, and i i i download uh, this uh, version so i click here download and i save uh, this uh, file So after uh, downloading uh, MongoDB Compass, this is uh, the file of uh, Compass. So I click uh, this file uh, to install this uh, tool. <coughs> after installing, you can see here some uh, welcome uh, messages. So here, welcome to MongoDB Compass, and uh, here this is the main uh, functions. So here I click uh, next, next, next. This is some uh, welcome message. For example, here how you can below the view queries. And here explain the interactive document editor. Here uh, you can see visual explain plans and some other uh, message index management. So I uh, continue to click here next. You can learn these uh, functions after. Here, how you can, for example, improve uh, crude uh, queries. And I click here next. So uh, now I click uh, get start. Uh, start using uh, I choose all the functions here. So uh, and I click here uh, start using compass. Now uh, MongoDB compass uh, is uh, in Stalin. Donc I have in my computer now MongoDB compass and the DBMS uh, MongoDB. Before uh, learning how you can use MongoDB Compass, let's start by creating a folder where you can store your data. Uh, this folder by default, uh, used by default by MongoDB in, uh, say, uh, in the folder C. So I create a new folder with the name uh, data and uh, in this folder, I create other new folder. This is the folder by default, DB. So you need to create this folder uh, 
see data DB to store your data. This folder is used by default by MongoDB. MongoDB in my computer is installed the, on the, in the folder uh, program. So here the program folder and I search uh, MongoDB. The, this is the folder server. Uh, uh, this is the version 4.2 and uh, the folder bin. So I use my uh, uh, command interface and I um, start the process MongoDB. So CD, I change the directory and I use uh, this, uh, this uh, folder. So I copy the address and uh, <coughs> I use this folder. Now I start uh, MongoDB by uh, hitting the command Mongo MongoD. So the process now is starting or the DBMS uh, MongoDB is starting. So here uh, as important uh, note or uh, remark is the, the use the power by MongoDB. So um, uh, here you can see the the number of port uh, is uh, 27017 so after uh, starting the process uh, mongodb you can see here uh, for example the process id is um, 8392 uh, the port is 27017 and the database uh, path uh, is uh, C uh, data DB. Uh, this is the name of the host. So there are uh, many informations uh, here, uh, important informations can, you can see here after starting the process MongoDB. Now I uh, start the uh, the MongoDB compass and uh, I uh, try to explain how you can use this tool. Now to start uh, MongoDB compass you can click uh, the icon uh, MongoDB here or uh, here in the folder uh, uh, MongoDB compass. So for example I click here. So in, uh, now MongoDB is uh, loading uh, some uh, plugins. Now to connect uh, to MongoDB, you need to pass or to uh, type here uh, your connection string. Uh, in my case, uh, I uh, use MongoDB in my uh, local computer. And uh, so I uh, type the command or the string uh, Mango DB uh, and uh, because I use uh, MongoDB in my local machine, so I use uh, local host or I use the IP address uh, 127.0.0.1 or a local host. You can change the change uh, this uh, IP address by local host. And uh, I uh, type the number of ports. So the number is uh, 27017. And I click here the connect. Now this is the graphical user interface. Uh, you can, for example, uh, create your MongoDB database. You can manage your database. Let's start by creating an example of a database. Now uh, let's start by uh, learning how you can uh, create your first database uh, on MongoDB or by using MongoDB Compass. So here there are many examples of uh, already installed uh, database. Uh, the first name is admin, config and uh, uh, local. Now I 
I uh, create now an example of database. So I click here, create database. So the database name, for example, uh, school DB, school uh, DB. I create, for example, uh, database for uh, school. Collection is uh, school, school uh, collection. For example, uh, and um, so here are that there are many options. For example, uh, keep the collection fixed says collection that supports high throat operation that insert and retrieve documents based on uh, insertion order, uh, or also use custom uh, collation. Uh, collation allows users to specify language specific rules for string comparison such as rules of uh, letter cas and accent length so uh, it's um, it's uh, important to use these these uh, options so i um, uh, for example uh, in uh, other project or uh, programming project you can use this option or use the other uh, option so uh, here uh, in this case i don't uh, use these uh, two options so i click here create database so this is my uh, database the first uh, search says is uh, four and i have one uh, collections and uh, index now now i click this in this uh, database uh, so here uh, i have um, uh, the database and this is the collection and i can here uh, create uh, other uh, collection by uh, clicking here so uh, for example uh, here this is my uh, collection and uh, if I want to add it, uh, data uh, for example I uh, click here uh, add, it, add it data or insert document if you have already a file or if you want to add it, uh, uh, or to insert documents so I click here uh, uh, insert document so uh, I uh, insert a new document uh, so you can here uh, import uh, your uh, existing file or insert a new document so in my in this example I choose uh, insert a new document so I click insert document so here uh, there are uh, two options uh, I uh, choose uh, I click here and I click insert so this is the first document also i can add the, another document insert i click here this is the second document and uh, i uh, click here insert document and i insert uh, document number three so i have here uh, three documents with different uh, object id now in the first document i can for example delete this document or clone this document or copy the document or uh, update or edit the document in this case i need to add the uh, folders in my document so i click so edit document and uh, i uh, here i click here plus to add the uh, my folders in the first document so i click here the first is uh, for example, first name, first, first name, and the first name is, uh, for example, uh, Peter. So this is the first folder in the first document, and I can also add other folder. For example, the last name. Excuse me, last, last name and the last name uh, is uh, for example uh, Ali and uh, here I can also change the type here for example the last name is the string here I have uh, I can change the type of my folder 
you can choose Rai, Benuri, Borean, Code, Dates, Double, Ims. So here you can change the type of your folder. So I have two folder with the type string. I added also uh, another uh, folder, for example, uh, bird day or uh, bird uh, date. And the bird date, for example, here uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, nine. So, and the type here is uh, date. So, this is uh, the date of my. Uh, uh, my folder in the second so this is uh, so I click here to save the, uh, the update I click here update so this is my first document in the second document also I can add the for example here I edit the document and I had uh, I have I add uh, some uh, folder for example here uh, 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 I add, for example, here a city, student city, for example, or just city. Here uh, I type uh, Casablanca, and uh, I can add it here, um, uh, for example, the age. And for example, here, uh, this is the age, and I change here the type uh, that age is, uh, for example, double. In the last document, for example, I can add the other uh, folder. So here, in this example, I uh, create uh, three documents. So here, uh, for example, I added here uh, the country. As folder and uh, Morocco so you can add other folder so here I forget to click update I click update for the second document and I click here for example so in this example I have three documents uh, uh, created by uh, MongoDB compass uh, in the next video I try to explain other important uh, options in um, uh, that you can use with MongoDB Compass as aggregations, schema, explain plan, and X validation. Thank you for watching this uh, important tutorial about MongoDB and MongoDB Compass. Don't uh, forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. Goodbye.